Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, today we're gonna cover something that's really exciting. This is a product by a company called Pinwoofer. It's the power wave amplifier for the Stern Spike 2 system. The thing about pinball is if you enjoy it, you know a large part of the experience is the musical soundtrack and score that goes along with each game. It really brings you into that experience. The problem is a lot of the stock amplifiers just aren't quite powerful enough to really unlock the experience the way they intended when they wrote the score. So that's what we're gonna check out today. We're gonna check out the Pinwoofer PowerWave amplifier. Now I'm gonna use this with the Kenwood speakers I put in and the Boom Boom 3000. Those are marginal speaker upgrades. They're not great. So I'm gonna do it and we're gonna install it. We're gonna see how it performs on that. And then Pinwoofer was gracious enough to send along their speakers as well. I'll tell you what the difference is, at least to me, on the Kenwood Boom Boom combination and the Pinwoofer speaker combination. Now let's install the Pinwoofer amplifier. Okay, I made my final adjustments to the amplifier and I'm ready to fire this thing up. Now keep in mind, this is using the Boom Boom 3000, which is a marginal upgrade, and the Kenwood speakers that they put in the Stern LE machines. So this is not using the upgraded speakers. So let's see how much of a difference that amplifier makes. Okay, so I'm gonna lower it, it's actually really loud. So the first thing you'll notice is you just don't get like real crisp, mids and highs from the back box on the stock amplifier. The call outs are just really, really good. Let's quickly cut to a different clip so you can get a better idea of how this thing sounds. And then I can tell immediately when I hit the start button that the bass coming out of the cabinet is, is much deeper than it would be with the stock amplifier. So I'm gonna just play the ball a little bit and then I thought just for you guys to see on your end I'm going to actually take the uh, the game out of the game mode and put it in the mixer mode so we can listen to some of the soundtrack real quick. I only have it on 10 right now. Okay. First impression is freaking awesome. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cancel the game out. I'm gonna play the music because I think it'd be easier for you to really hear the soundtrack over that just because I'm not, I'm not ca capturing this with like amazing microphones all over the place. So what we're gonna do is, if you don't know this, you can hit both flipper buttons on your game and then it gives you a mode you can go into in most of the games called DJ Mixer. And this allows you to hear the soundtrack. So like right now, like holy crap, you can really hit, hear the bass hitting now I actually like bass heavy, so I lowered the back box a little bit, but it's just the overall sound is awesome. But it just the bass of it is so much better. So I'll go to like, this is the intro theme when you first plunge the ball. The overall sound is just really, really good. 
I'm gonna take these speakers out and put the pinwoofer speakers in. And I'm gonna invite my friend Rudy over, but I'm not gonna tell him what I did. I'm just gonna have him walk up, hit the start button. I wanna get his instant reaction, because he's gonna know he is someone that owns pinball machines, so he's gonna know right away, like, what the heck? My reaction's my reaction, but I want you to get his. Do the upgrades real quick, and then invite him over and see what he thinks. So, like I said, I've invited Rudy in. I did not tell him what I did to the pinball machine. As a matter of fact, the thing is, I just filmed my reaction, but it was before I did, like what you're about oh. to experience is better okay. than what I did. Okay. Or it's supposed to be better. You legitimately don't know, right? I just assumed I was gonna be punched in the pants when I got no, here. No, no, there's no <laughs> punching in the balls. Okay. I hope it should be very apparent when you hit the start button what I've done to this machine. Wow, it's but so beautiful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this other, don't hit it yet. So I'm gonna get this other camera so I can get your reaction from a different angle. That's nuts. Unless you think it totally sucks, in which case then it's gonna be a totally <laughs> stupid video. All right, are you um, ready? Yeah, I think so. All right, hit the start button. Whoa, oh my God. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. What? So what do you Dude, think I did to it? The speakers, everything <laughs> is amazing. Okay. <laughs> you can feel the sound in your face. <laughs> I love it. All right. Like my face is vibrating. <laughs> All right, we'll give it a shot. That is awesome. Oh my God, that's so cool. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is so much better. <laughs> Okay, so I'll explain oh. to you what it is while you're playing. What? So, <laughs> I know, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so this is the, um, oh. so the company's called Pinwoofer. Yeah. And they make an amplifier that piggybacks off the CPU. Oh. So it like, it attaches to the back and I'll show it to you in a minute. It's so much better yeah, than so, you think it would be. So, I know, so it's an amplifier. His whole kit is about 350 bucks and you get a new sub, you get two new back speakers yeah. and an amplifier. <laughs> And then it, give or take, because uh, if you need brackets and shit, it's right. a little bit more, but that's about it. But it's, I, it's, isn't it like, it's take, crazy, right? Take my money. <laughs> know, that's what I'm Why? saying. <laughs> Don't tell you're me You're actually numbers. playing pretty good. Clearly you're not at a tournament, because you'd no, be, you would no. have already drained the ball. <laughs> yeah. uh, 20,000 points in and I'd be done. I only oh have it turned God. up to 15, too. That's and I have so the amazing. I have the uh, shaker motor turned down so you get the full effect. Really? But yeah. The With shaker, this much kick? Yeah, the shaker motor's turned down a little bit. Why are you playing so good? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dogs have spotted you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hi, hey, puppy. They're going to ruin everything. <laughs> they don't like loud noises. I don't know oh. what's wrong with them. But, I don't know. So far, I think... Uh, so what would be your, like... Initial thoughts. I, I would say spend it. $350. <laughs> Dude, you already have two balls locked in everything. To feel this. I feel you like I can absolutely it. feel it in my face. <laughs> and that's not a joke. It's a literal feeling. <laughs> I love it's it. It's amazing. I needed to get your reaction because... Oh, oh. You, oh dude, look at you. Oh, I lost this the ball. clearly isn't tournaments because no. in tournament you'd never get yeah. a ball saved. No. You'd just be like, oh yeah, you suck, Rudy. <laughs> You're actually doing really good. Rudy's gonna finish this. his ball, uh, and then I'm gonna show him what you know what this whole configuration looks like, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. These are his front speakers, so these are new front speakers. Okay. So these are his, but the thing that he did that's kind of genius is he said the way Stern does it, it's not an airtight seal for the speaker. So he has he built Just brackets, like, yeah. and then the way he designed his speakers is when these all screw down, they make an airtight seal right here, so you don't so lose the sound any air. Is actually coming out. No and reverberation then, loss. And then that's the amp. So the amp attaches 
Like, that thing's huge. Yeah, so you, you basically just disconnect the CN4, CN1, right? Yeah. And then this, I can't remember which one this was. I think it's, I can't remember which one it is. Then you'd basically put this on and then reconnect everything. And it, it's all tied into your stock stuff. The only time you have to go in here is if like, you want to set your levels and everything. So like once Change that's set, it's up. good. But okay. here's what's crazy that he did. So he has a connection, so you can actually, not that you'd need it, but you can connect an external sub to it. And then let's say, let's say I had what? this amp in every machine with wow. one external sub. Yeah. I can share one external sub with four machines. So if this machine's off and I'm not okay. playing it, right. it has like a cable that goes to this one that says, okay, that's the active machine and it'll leverage. It's, it's awesome. The guy, it's, it's freaking awesome. And he told me, he's like, when, all right, so when Dan and I, who's the guy over there, when he was telling me, he goes, try it with your stock speakers first, and then, and then trust, he's like, trust right. me, <laughs> it's gonna be 10 times better. And when I turned it on wow. to, show, to do this, I was like, it's face melting. <laughs> it's so good. That is the only <laughs> description I can think of. It is just face it's so melting. Good. All right, well, I melted Rudy's face. I'm gonna give you some final thoughts, and uh, and then I'll let Rudy finish his game, which will probably beat my high score, and then I'll be pissed, and then I'll kick him out of the house. <laughs> I hate to interrupt my own video, but there are a couple things that I forgot to mention. One is the kit is really easy to install, and there's a bunch of supporting documentation and videos to help you along the way, so you'll have no problems installing it. The other thing is you can push this system to some very high volumes with no distortion. So I was really impressed with that. The other thing is there's this um, play field material that he gives you so that you can put it uh, it's basically like an anti-glass vibration kit. It's just like this material you put in. I'm using Invisiglass on my game, so that glass is just a hair thicker than the Stern stock glass. So I don't have that problem, but if your glass has a little bit of wiggle room within the channel, you can put in this kit that he provides with it, and then that way you won't get the rattle. So thanks again to Dan over at Pinwoofer. He makes so many awesome products to enhance the audio experience of your pinball machine, so definitely check him out. Now the kit that I featured in this video is actually called the Pinwoofer Spike 2 Power Wave Super Kit. So the Super Kit comes with the amplifier, the five and a quarter inch back box speakers and the subwoofer and everything you need. So it has everything. And I would definitely encourage you to get that kit because honestly, it sounds so much better than the Kenwoods and the Boom Boom. It, it blows them out of the freaking water. Like Rudy's reaction, uh, hopefully you can kind of get that he was like, whoa, this is out of control. But man, this is like something that really, you know, the initial question I had was, does this unlock the capabilities like so we can fully appreciate the soundtrack of the game? And because pinball is so reliant on the soundtrack and the sound effects and the call outs, it just makes the game that much more enjoyable. I kind of wish the manufacturers would maybe focus a little bit more effort on creating a better sound system for the home, but you know, it is what it is. But for me, this kit is absolutely worth it. And I probably will put it in one of my other machines. I'm thinking probably either John Wick or Jaws. And the funny thing is, is when Dan and I were going through what game I should showcase, he chose Jaws and I chose Godzilla, but I can totally see why he would have chose Jaws. I, I'm just, I'm blown away by the clarity. The back box speakers are just so clear. The subwoofer, so clear, clean bass. And the thing is you can adjust it all from uh, from the amplifier itself. So once you make your final adjustments in there, you can just control it from either the volume control if you have the Stern volume control and headphone kit, or you can just open up the door and, and do it from there. So, so I like that it feels integrated from that regard. And then the other thing that's cool that we didn't even really talk about is you can hook up an external amplifier, uh, like an external subwoofer to it. I don't know why you would, but if you want that extra oomph, you can do that. And then you can link your machines, you can link all your pin, pinwoofer amplifiers and leverage that subwoofer on multiple games. So he's really thought of it all. Dan is definitely a hardcore audiophile and you can see he put his heart and soul into this. So if you're looking for a audio upgrade for your machine, I, I cannot recommend this more. It's that good. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy content like this. Put your comments below. I know what you think about, uh, about this kit and that's it for now guys. We will see you on the next one.